the Last Supper teaches us that the Eucharist is linked with the humble service. Today the Church celebrates the wonderful gift of God to the entire world, the institution of the Holy Eucharist and the institution of the priesthood. Jesus instituted the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist while having the Passover meal, the feast on which the Jews still gather annually to commemorate their ancestors' deliverance from Egyptian slavery. Israel was saved through the blood of sacrificial lambs sprinkled on their doorposts. Whereas the new and perfect Paschal Lamb accomplished for people of every nation what Mosaic sacrifices only imperfectly achieved for the Jews. First of all, in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, Jesus gives us his own body broken for us on the cross and his precious blood poured out for us in order that our sins may be forgiven. St. Thomas Aquinas acknowledged that the greatest miracle that Christ ever worked on the earth is the Eucharist. In the Catechism of the Catholic Church we read, In the most blessed sacrament of the Eucharist, the body and blood together with the soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ and therefore the whole Christ is truly, really and substantially contained. Through this sacrifice, the risen Jesus becomes present on the altar, offering himself to the Father through the ministry of the priest. During Mass, that one sacrifice of Jesus as the priest of the new covenant is extended to us through time and made present to us. Pope John Paul II says, Those who feed on Christ in the Eucharist need not wait until the next life to receive eternal life. They already possess it on earth as the first fruits of future fullness. Secondly, the institution of the Holy Eucharist by Christ on Holy Thursday equally marks the institution of the ministerial priesthood. Having washed his disciples' feet, Jesus puts on his clothes back and returned to the Passover meal. He took bread and wine in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven, to his Almighty Father, he gave thanks and blessed, and handed over to his friends. He was not just giving them the Passover gifts, he was handing himself over to them. Take this, it is my body, it is my blood. In fact, God was once more putting himself into the hands of sinful men. Now and for all time, his body and blood will be truly present under the species of bread and wine. And just as he mandated that they should imitate what he did, so now he tells his priests to imitate, saying, Do this in memory of me. In the letter to the Hebrews, we are told that the priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God. And it is the priest's duty, therefore, to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 1. Moreover, Catechism of the Catholic Church clearly teaches us the anointing of the Spirit seals the priest with an indelible spiritual character that configures him to Christ the priest and enables him to act in the name of Christ the head. Thirdly, Jesus washing his disciples' feet in the context of the Last Supper teaches us that the Eucharist is linked with the humble service. A poet says, the eternal word steps down from his seat of glory to wash the feet of his creatures he has made. 
hot, tired and dirty feet would have been a normal after journey and to wash them on arrival anywhere was usually a task for servants. Jesus took this task on himself and then he said, If I, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. Our celebration of Eucharist sends us out to love and serve the Lord in others. Amen.